don't watch shit in the morning. Not only because you're robbing yourself of the most productive time in the day, but also you're putting shit into your head that will linger for the rest of the day. My friend Chase called me yesterday late morning and he said, how's it going, man? What have you been up to? Because we're on this challenge together. For him, it's posting on YouTube every single day until the end of May. And for me, it's posting every two days trying to make idea-based videos instead of my daily vlogs. And when Chase asked how my morning is going, I said, well, I've been looking for an idea that I want to make for my next video. So I've been surfing YouTube and I started watching videos on how to make money. And Chase was like, don't watch shit in the morning. Not only because you're robbing yourself of the most productive time in the day, but also you're putting shit into your head that will linger for the rest of the day. And I was like, fuck, he's absolutely right. Mornings are sacred. I should protect my mornings. What am I doing? Having a bad morning doesn't just end with a bad morning. It sets the stage for the rest of the day. There are times where I've had unproductive mornings and then I turned around later in the day and cranked out a good video in the evening, but those days are rare. And by the way, if you think that what you watch doesn't affect you, this is what I said in my video after I stared at a wall for an hour. During my one hour staring at the wall, a good chunk of it, I was thinking about the Joker movie sequel because I just watched a trailer for it just before starting. Comes to show that what you watch lingers in your mind. What you watch and consume is powerful because it affects you. So what you consume doesn't just leak out the other ear, it swirls around in there. That's another reason to not consume content in the morning. When I consume content in the morning, I don't like how my morning goes. I never look back at a morning where I watch some shit and I say, yeah, that was a good morning. Now I haven't nailed down my morning routine yet. Waking up at 5 a.m. every morning, I tried it, I couldn't sustain it. It lasted for five mornings and then I went out for dinner with a friend. I fell out of the 5 a.m. routine. I'm still trying to nail down my morning routine and I do know that I want to go to the gym in the morning because if I don't go in the morning, then I end up not going at all. But whatever I end up doing in the morning, probably scripting first thing in the morning, mornings are not for wasting time. I can do that in the evening once I've hit all my targets for the day. Mornings are no longer for relaxing. I mean, but that's if you have goals and you're trying to hit those goals. If you don't have any goals or your goal is to just spend as much screen time as possible, then why'd you even click on this video? Just keep scrolling because no one's forcing you to have goals. But if you want to strive towards 1% better every day, protect your goddamn mornings. Yesterday, I had my weekly call with YouTubers and when I told them that I'm struggling coming up with ideas that I want to make videos about, Timmy, who's a full-time YouTuber, said, enjoy the struggle of making videos because later on you're going to find that they're so easy that they're boring and you're going to miss the days when it was a struggle. I was thinking, really? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of encouraging at the same time. I didn't expect to hear that, but okay, I'll enjoy this period of struggle where I'm just trying to make a good video, uh, trying to come up with a good video idea to make every day, every other day, every two days. One thing I don't like is that when I don't have a solid idea that I want to make a video about, I end up browsing through YouTube trying to get inspired by a good idea, but I really don't like how that's affecting my days. I don't want to be consuming content just looking for something to copy at the same time it's really difficult to come up with original ideas but it's all right it's all good i'm practicing my creative muscle of coming up with ideas i will see you in two days one percent better every day baby or tigger hiding from the construction people Like apple, mochi.